Hello YouTube and welcome back to a super informative another video on health and fitness given that at the minute summer is coming up and those of you looking to get in shape are probably looking to shed a few pounds. I thought it would be interesting to have a talk, sit down and have a look and say actually what happens to fat when it leaves the body and what do you need to do to get rid of it. So today's video is going to explore actually what happens with fat. What we have here is two different fat molecules, saturated fats and unsaturated fats, slightly different compositions and ultimately a lot of common myths exist around fat loss, where it goes, what happens to it once it's gone and so today we're going to explore those and find out actually what the truth behind fat loss is, where it goes and what happens to it. Let's do this. <laughs> So when we lose fat, where does it actually go? Well, scientists in Australia did some research across 150 health and sports professionals and asked them the question, where does fat actually go? And the majority of them, according to the research, calculated or guessed incorrectly. So what were some of those answers? Well, things along the lines you may have heard of, well, it's converted into energy, or it's converted into muscle, or it's excreted out. Well, guess what? All those are incorrect. Let's face it, burning calories and getting lean is big business. A lot of money in it in the supplement industry, a lot of demand and desire from it from personal trainers for people to get lean. So we need to understand why the process happens and understand the logic in our head. Perhaps not really so it can help and aid our efficiency of losing fat, but just so we've got the right scientific background and knowledge behind it to understand what the mechanism is so that you can perform the right tasks that mean that you're going to shed the fat as quickly and efficiently as possible. Now when we talk about fat loss, we talk about being in a calorie deficit and expending more energy than we actually take in. Now that energy may not come from fat, it may come from other sources, but what you think actually happens to the fat isn't necessarily what is happening. And the reason is that actually having fat converted to energy or uh, into muscle violates the laws of conversion of matter which all chemical reactions obey. So you may be thinking, come on Adam, what the hell are you on about? No one cares about chemical biological or processes within the body, we just want to lose fat and get lean. Well that's cool, maybe if you do want to do that, switch off, but if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about a little bit of chemistry behind the actual process and biological function of fat loss and physics and thermodynamics, then listen in here. So we've got here our fat molecules, we have an oxygen, a hydrogen and we have carbon molecules covalently, double covalently bonded or single covalently bonded with a slightly different appendix to the unsaturated fat molecule and that's why they have different impacts on your body and different uh, impacts on chemical reactions within your body because they're differently because they have different covalent bonds and different structures on the ends. What actually happens for fat to release the body is Carbon and oxygen is broken down into CO2 which leaves the body by exhaling and then water H2O mixes into the body and is excreted out through urine and it's that simple really carbon dioxide and hydrogen from fat is broken down and that's how it leaves the body. So it's not the fact that it's being converted to something, all chemical and biological processes obey the laws of conversion of matter, which means that one way or another, it needs to go and move into a various shape or form and that's how it leaves the body. So what is interesting is for every 10 kilos of fat loss, what you'll probably find is approximately 8.4 kilograms of carbon dioxide leaves the body via the lungs and 1.6 kilograms of water leaves the body via water. This here, 10 kilos, is approximately 
£22. So it's interesting that only foods arriving at your colon, for example, uh, such as sweet corn, are dietary fibre and uh, that's the only thing that is excreted out. Every everything else leaves the body via water or via carbon dioxide. So tip for the day, if you're looking to get shredded, maybe breathe more and do a little bit more weeing. I'm Adam Arif, this is Beyond Educated, and I'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.